we went out yesterday and uh, I was like two seconds off what I wanted to be at. And so I've got, fortunately, a, a tremendous amount of respect and some experience with Chad because Chad Bowers and I drove together last year and I have great respect for him. I got, got to talk to him. They told me that I needed to use more revs and I could. They, they said, look, you know, rev the thing harder. It's, it's not going to break anything. And my number one concern is taking care of their equipment. So I was pretty confident after talking to them that I'd get up to speed quickly. I was told that we went from fifth up to third. Uh, during my shift and uh, if that's the case then I would be tremendously happy about it because all of those guys are fast in this car you know they didn't get in the top three in points nationally by being slow so I really tried to pick their brains and understand how this car works because you have to drive for the front wheels of this car and once you get the car pointed using the brakes then you can get back on the throttle and the car will stick and you're quick but you've got to get it out of your head that you can power drift through a corner and you can drive the car hard in a corner. You can't do it. You have to stand on the brakes, trail brake in, point the car, then get back on the gas and you'll be quick. So we get all the way to the end of the race, 30 minutes to go, we're in third position and one of the Porsches turns right down in front of uh, Chris, uh, who's the last driver. Unfortunately, he didn't check his blind spot, and so instead of getting a clear bit of track, he found my bumper. The radiator's busted, and the car's going to overheat, so you got to bring it in. So that's the story of the weekend.